are you ready to learn something new? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get creative with heat transfer vinyl and from something very simple, how you can create that, recreate that into, uh, into something vibrant and shapeful. Okay, I have this apron, which is a plain, just a plain, simple apron. You wear it, kind of boring. What can we do? Okay. As you can see now, I have transfers from HTV on this heat transfer vinyl. This is where everything begins. Let's see what we are going to do and for that what we need. Okay, for this project you will need an apron, a plain apron. It's okay, it can be a plain one. Even a printed one is that's fine as long as it's a little bit milder design. And then the main part for, for our project is heat transfer vinyls. Any colors like you know I have some for you to show you. It doesn't have to be flowers. It can be any designs. You will need some heat transfer vinyl decals. So I have a couple of these here to show you. And these, this is another one. So this is, okay, let me, yes, okay. This is another design I have. And then you will need embroidery floss, some buttons, you will need some buttons, and you will need a needle with a big eye. Okay, let's see how to do this. Now this is the bottom part of your apron so i have my htv decals here and you will place it however the way you want if you have to get the kit the htv will be pressed pre-pressed so you don't have to worry about that otherwise if you if you are not sure how to press and you are not sure about the temperatures Click on the link below that will show you, you that will show you the link for my other video on how to transfer HTV decal onto fabric. So you will transfer it like this. Now remember, today our purpose of this is the goal is to use these HTV decals as a guideline for your embroidery. So once you are done pressing them, let me show you how it is. This is how it's going to look like. So you have your design pressed already. Now take your embroidery floss. Decide on some colors which you want to use. Whether you, you can use so many different colors or you can just stick to one or two colors. And you can choose which one you are going to start with. So let's say I'm going to start with the leaves. So I will take my green. You can decide whether you want to use the whole, all of it as one thread, or you want to use um, you want to use just half of the thread. So, if you want to use just half of it, half of these strands, like just divide them and use half of it, or just use this as a whole. I would like to use this as a whole because it looks more appealing to your eyes. So I'm going to use the whole thing and let's get started. Remember I'm using a big eye needle but if you're going to be using just like couple threads let's say two or three then you don't have to. Okay so put the knot Go around the knot. Now you can decide what kind of stitch you want to do. Running stitch, chain stitch or you can mix and match. So for the leaves I'm going to be doing running stitch. So let's get started with one. So I'm going to start from here.
there you go we are almost done with the apron you can see that i have used mainly a running stitch which is my favorite when it comes to doing embroidery with htv and especially if young kids are learning this is a great way to get started so i have used the green here and very closer to the htv here i've left a little bit of space and in this one it's around it's inside it's inside the htv and then i added buttons to enhance them this, this here you can see that there is more gap in between the htv and the thread and here i have used different kinds of embroidery thread to decorate this now let's go ahead and get started with our last flower so i will be adding a button to this and choose whatever the thread color you like let's see okay let's get started here now i've come towards the end since i'm going to add a button i'm going to go out and then i'm going to come out from here so that i can add the button instead of finishing the thread okay let's add the button now i chose a pink button this time okay and come out okay. your button is secured just do it one more time so your button is secured now let me show you how to finish it so feel this thread which is here put your needle under this thread and then you get this loop put your needle through that loop make a knot another one through that needle make a knot now here because you have the button in the other side even if you get hold of the fabric it will not show but especially if you are finishing in any of these areas it's a must that you do not put your needle through the fabric but through your through the through the stitch you have already made okay There you go. Your apron using HTV decal to do embroidery as a guideline is ready. <laughs>